what's up you guys welcome to the channel if you're new thank you for stopping by and watching a fragrance video with me if you're already a part of the amanda marie family welcome back thank you guys for showing me so much love i really do appreciate each and every last one of you so in today's video we're going to do a 15 minute review on the new fragrance from bath and body works it's called coffee and whiskey okay but before we get into that let me introduce myself my name is again amanda marie and over here i love to discuss everything fragrance so if you like to smell good or you know somebody that like to smell good you can refer them over here honey share my video just let the spirit just move you honey okay so don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out if you don't watch this whole video okay <laughs> all right so let's get into the video so okay first of all you guys know i don't really talk about bath and body works that much but let me just tell you why it's not that i don't like bath and body works i just feel like in my fragrance journey I've kind of grown, outgrown Bath & Body Works, but I do love their candles. So I'm in there, not a lot, but I do go in there to buy candles um, quite a bit. So I do go in there, but I haven't purchased a fragrance or uh, I haven't really fallen in love with the fragrance from Bath & Body Works um, since they came out with Stars. Is it called Stars at Night? Oh my God, I bought that fragrance so much and I can't remember the name of the fragrance. What? In the Stars, okay? In the Stars, is it called In the Stars? Yes, In the Stars. I can't believe that I forgot their name because when I tell you I have bought In the Stars so much, like literally my daughter is done smelling that fragrance because I wore it out so much when it first came out. I want to say like 2019 or something like that like that was my jam man i love in the stars i had the lotions body wash candle honey you name it i had it and i hadn't really been moved by any of the other fragrances there until now this one right here got me feeling all the feels like i am so in love with this fragrance and again this is coffee and whiskey now everybody's been talking about it on instagram i'm pretty sure they're talking about it on tiktok so you know i had to go buy a uh, bath and body works to smell it for myself and honey i'm i'm in love okay now i wanted to get the perfume i think the perfume was like 36 dollars or something like that well of course they were sold out so I wasn't able to get the perfume, but I'm definitely going to go back and get the perfume, even if I have to order it online, which you know what? I might order it online once I'm done recording this video. But I bought two of the body sprays, and these are like an aerosol. Let me show y'all. Y'all see that? It's an aerosol. It's good, but it's not as good as the perfume. And when I tell you the perfume, child, so I bought two of them. The perfume, oh my God, I sprayed the perfume on in the store because they did have like the little try me bottle. And when I got home, my daughter was like, what are you wearing? I was like, you still, you can smell that? And she was like, yeah, the perfume is banging, okay? I also picked up two of their body creams, okay? Love, love this scent. So let's get into it real quick. And then I will share with you guys some fragrances that I use to layer with this um, fragrance, okay? So the description of this fragrance is as follows. A warm fragrance with a hint of sweetness inspired by the classic combination of coffee and bold Irish whiskey, okay? Love this. Now, if you're not into coffee and you're not even into whiskey, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily like not eat at least smell this fragrance because you can smell the coffee for sure like the coffee is the first thing that i get i don't get a lot of whiskey i get a boozy coffee scent a very soft subtle boozy coffee scent this is like the perfect fragrance for fall in my opinion it's absolutely gorgeous i mean i just can't get enough i've been spraying the body spray as like my first layer when I get out the shower before I put on my fragrances, I spray with this and then of course I moisturize with the body cream, okay? And this body cream is really nice. I, I actually do enjoy it. It's very thick. 
it's very like um emollient it has a bit nice thick feel to it it has shea butter and hyaluronic acid so it's gonna have your skin looking real soft and shiny and pretty okay now here are the fragrances that i i've been layering with um right now but really you guys it's so many fragrances you can layer with this to come up with the perfect scent for fall like the list is just gonna go on and on but i will share with you three of them and then i'll tell you a few more that i intend on layering with okay y'all hear my stomach growling child ignore that excuse me honey i got when I'm done, I gotta go make me something to eat because this is making me hungry. Like, I, my, my stomach is like, oh, we about to get ready to eat. It, it smells very edible, okay? All right, so the first one I layered with, well, really, this is the second one I layered with. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, it reminds me a lot of this fragrance by Killian. This is called Black Phantom. Black Phantom it's also oh my god they almost smell identical y'all no lie the black phantom is like a boozy coffee sweet coffee scent as well uh, let me give you guys a few of the notes in this fragrance so in the black phantom you get dark chocolate you get rum caramel coffee sugarcane almonds sandalwood and heliotrope you guys when i tell you this fragrance the Bath and Body Works fragrance smells literally identical almost to this fragrance. This is a beautiful combination. I mean, I love it. I actually wore this combination on Friday to work and I got so many compliments. It's very pleasing, crowd pleasing, it's non-offensive, it's soft. It just reminds me of a really sweet, boozy, soft coffee drink okay it is really really amazing if this is a this i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is kind of like a dupe the coffee and whiskey is a dupe for uh killian's black phantom so they did it when they did this like i just absolutely love it it's gorgeous Mwah. chef's kiss 10 out of 10 highly recommend okay the next one i paired it with is another fragrance from killian this is the first one i went for because this fragrance always sticks in my mind as a coffee uh scent and intoxicated this intoxicated by killian it's the first fragrance i thought about and then i mean it's not too far from it but i will tell you what's in this that kind of sets these two apart from each other so in this one you get the cardamom you get coffee nutmeg and cinnamon okay so you don't get any uh booze with this fragrance like rum and the cardamom is very standout okay uh with this fragrance it's, it's kind of giving me something a little bit spicy it's spicier because it does have nutmeg and cinnamon and cardamom so it's it's heavy on the spice which is not bad but if you're trying to get real close to like the coffee and whiskey i would definitely stick with black phantom because it's going to get you extremely close to this fragrance again these two are great to layer with as well this is going to give you more of a spicy coffee whiskey type of scent though especially if you have the perfume that will really go better with intoxicated uh, not so much of the body spray. The perfume just hits different for me. And if they would have had it, I would have bought it. And I hate that they didn't have it in the store. So I wanted to get a little bit more, you know, creative, a little bit more kind of spicy. I was like, what fragrance can I layer with this fragrance that's a little bit different? You know, I thought about Delina but a delina exclusive but i was like no i could though you really could it, i think it would play they would play well together but i went with deluxe instead because i was thinking like okay the rose in the delina may be a little bit too much but the rose and deluxe i thought would be a perfect fragrance to layer with the coffee and whiskey simply because deluxe has a note of coffee in it as well in addition to the rose. I haven't worn it for a full day. I was just kind of experimenting when I first got 
the uh, body spray but let's get some notes in the deluxe real quick so you kind of know what you're working with all right so in this fragrance you get coffee in the top you get uh hessen you get iris in the middle you get turkish rose vanilla you get open knots which looks like some type of resin in the base you get honey white musk amber and cedar so this one is gonna hit a little bit different this one the turkish rose is really coming off really really strong but i love this fragrance though it does remind me of Fragrances along the line of Delina, Shagoff Oud, Oud Bouquet, things like that. Um, but it's, it's, an, it's a little bit more toned down in my opinion. There's no incense in here, thank God. Because usually uh, Tiziana Terenzi has a lot of incense in her fragrance. And like myrrh and stuff like that. But there's no incense. But this is a beautiful scent though. I did wear this one. I wore this on Friday. Um, when I went out after work for drinks and it was pumping like man this fragrance was going hard I love it I did come I did actually wear these together so I lied I don't know I it wasn't really a full day days wear it was like half a day okay it was for like three or four hours or something like that but they actually played very well together this is a beautiful combination it's gonna give you that beautiful rose with the coffee and the with the coffee is already in this one anyway but this is going to give you that boozy scent uh when you add it with the deluxe okay but i think this is a great combination um you know i'm not really big into layering you guys already know that but here and there every now and again I will layer. I've actually been inspired to layer a little bit more because I think it's fun and then you come up with a very interesting type of scent, kind of like almost like a signature scent almost, you know what I'm saying? Like a hybrid of something, two fragrances that you love. So I'm, I'm, I'm you know, taking baby steps when it comes to layering. I'm not the best at layering, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting a little bit better, okay? I'm getting a little bit better, but yeah. I think this is a great scent again it's gonna be great for fall now um the longevity is amazing if you get the perfume and you come you know combine it with the lotion um and you know does it make sense to have the perfume and this i would say no but if you can't get your hands on the perfume at least get the spray again i would recommend the perfume okay now, um, when you get the perfume, it's going to give you great longevity. I mean, the projection is amazing. I literally sprayed the perfume on one hand. I didn't even go in with the sprays because I was in the store and I didn't want to be spraying all that stuff. But um, one hand, I want to say I did like three sprays and then I put some lotion on top of it and it projected like nobody's business okay it was that thing was it was thing okay it was doing its thing um so you're gonna get great longevity great projection with the perfume now as far as it being kind of unisex i would say so now i did smell some of their other fragrances and i don't necessarily know if this particular uh line is for men but they have fragrances like leather bourbon and some other fragrances I can't remember right now but those really came off in my opinion a little bit more masculine than this uh, fragrance this one I would say is a hundred percent unisex okay I feel like anybody could wear this and you and your man can share it if you want you can buy him his own child whatever you want to do I would buy him his own you don't need to be using my stuff okay again I haven't been moved like this since in the stars so if i'm coming to y'all and telling y'all this is a good a good scent believe me when i tell you okay this is perfect this is going to be like my to go to fall winter scent because it's very warm very comforting and cozy i just absolutely love it i can't stop talking about it it's an amazing scent go try it out all right if you have it Please comment down below in the comment. Let us know how you feel about it. Um, if you're into fragrances, I would love for you to 
hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video and you don't miss out also don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out it lets me know that you appreciate my content and you're enjoying the videos that i'm bringing you i would love that so 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 much okay thank you i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you're having a fabulous day i hope you are smelling wonderful and i will see you in the next video Mwah!